three objects of mass, two, 1.5 and 0.5, are suspended by means of a thin string. What is the tension of T1? Okay, so the way to do this is, if you just go and do a free body diagram um, of this 1.5 kilogram object, we know that it has to carry its own weight. So we can say the Fg of the 1.5, but it also has to carry this 0 0.5 kilogram. So it does that through the tension in this rope. So we're gonna put a tension in that rope, okay, which we'll just call T2. Okay, and then there's T1. So at the moment we could only calculate, we could only calculate that. Um, but we don't know what T2 is, or we don't know what T1 is. So if we had to then go do a free body diagram on this object, we know that it has to carry its own mass, which is called gravity, but that's only for the 0 0.5, and then it's got this rope T2. That is the only forces that are physically touching this one. So we could use this one to quickly go and calculate T2, because these two have to be equal, unless this object was like moving up or moving down, accelerating up, accelerating down. So we can just say that T2 is the same as the Fg of this object, which is 0 0.5 multiplied by 9.8, and that's gonna be 4.9 Newtons. Now we have T2, so we can use it over here because it's the same piece of rope, and the, t the tension in a rope never changes, as long as it's the same piece of rope. So now we know that um, these two forces acting down have to be the same as this force acting up because otherwise the system is not balanced. So we can say that T1 must be the same as T2 plus the Fg of the 1.5 kilogram object. See, these two acting down must be the same as the forces acting up, otherwise there's an imbalance. So we can say T1 then is gonna be equal to um, T2, which is 4.9, plus the Fg of this object, which is 1.5 multiplied by 9.8, and so that will be, 19.6 newtons, that's the answer is C.